Just to show you, look, I'm trying to get that slice out of there. Whoa. Look at the size over the plate. <laughs> Real quick before we get on with the video, these power blocks are the bane of my existence. And if you're a creator, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's because everything we use is battery operated and has to be charged. And in this day and age, every single outlet in the house always seems like it's being used. And I have to charge my microphone over here on the kettle. Not to mention all the cords and wires, but as a creator, we're using more than just a camera. We have tons of gear. It's all battery operated and they all need to use those power blocks. Not to mention, none of our gear comes with these. So we have to buy these separately just to charge our gear. But that is where this comes in. This is a 140 watt, eight port fast charger by Interval. Interval reached out to me to check this bad boy out. And from what I'm seeing, it's gonna solve a lot of headaches, especially on travel. I can charge up to eight devices. The four top ports are USB-C and the four bottom ports are USB. Now you can charge your laptops on here. You can charge your cell phones on here. I can charge all of my camera gear. It saves such a headache on travel. I can plug this into one outlet in our hotel rooms when we go out of town and everybody can plug into here. And if I wanna be greedy, I can plug all my gear into here, which is probably what I'm gonna do. It also has built-in protections to make sure that your devices do not overheat when they're charging and they do not overcharge. It's just the perfect little charging station for creators. It takes all of this and turns it into this. It really is the perfect companion for the traveling creator. Don't forget to check out the links listed below to Interval Official to check out all their Amazon listings and do not forget to get that discount link that's listed as well. And now, back to the pizza. Well, we've arrived at our location. Today, it's all about big food. But at the same time, there are big numbers, if I get it to focus, outside as far as temperature is concerned doesn't want to focus. So we're going to sit here in the car and wait for Joe. And we just noticed when we got here that there's a brand new farm basket. I haven't had farm basket since I was a kid. Might have to go over there after we're done and get ourselves a piece of chicken. Alex says that the turkey is really, really good. By the way, Alex is actually with us today. Yeah. Imagine that. Finally. There he is, finally, hiding in the back. We said pizza and Alex said, okay. And of course, you all know this one over here. Joe is officially late. I let him set the time. One o'clock. He's officially late. Ah, uh, yes. Nature called, so he says, as he was walking out the door. Excuses, excuses. I just want food. Now, we've done a few big food videos before. But if all goes well right now, this should be gigantic food. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be costly, but it's gonna be fun. The light in here for these cameras isn't the best, but this is Ryan, guys. We've already, uh, I've already texted Joe and find out where he is. He said, nature called while he was leaving. That's not. <laughs> it happens, life happens, right? This is George. George is our server today. I didn't know it was full service. I we just came in like a regular pizza place and just ordered pizza, but we are here to order the monster pizza. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'll tell you one thing, this restaurant has some kicking air conditioning in it right now, because it is absolutely wonderful in here while it's at 106 degrees outside. And here's your beer and wine list when you come in here. They even have a happy hour from 3 to 6 p.m. 
Monday to Thursday. Beers four dollars, wines four dollars, mimosa, sangria five dollars, micheladas are eight dollars. And then there's your food pricing. Oh my God! Look at this shit. Oh. <laughs> the man has finally arrived. Check out the shirt. Check out the shirt. I've seen it before, but it's cool. What's up, brother? How you doing? Oh, good to see you. This menu is massive. We're gonna have to explore this restaurant on other days where we can have different kinds of food other than the big stuff we're doing right now. I mean, literally, the only reason why we're doing this gigantic pizza is for video. But um, hopefully, it's good. But the menu, trifold menu, look at that. There's just, they have a ranch pizza. Napoli Special, Supreme, Meat Lovers Italian. And then they got a triple decker, triple decker BLT. Look, they got a Chicago beef dish, a grandma pie. Yeah, they got a grandma pie even. Nice. It's funny, we're all sitting here arguing about what is gonna go on this gigantic pizza. And I think we've chosen, and we're like, <laughs> gonna frazzle this kid all out trying to tell him, no, no, we want this, no, we want that, no, it's gotta be this, that, and other thing. <laughs> this is the most confusing large food I've ever ordered, but I think we have it figured out. Ah, oh, there's the mushrooms. I'm interrupting Joe's uh, intro right now to have a bite of uh, this mushroom. Here's one of you. Mushrooms are good. They have a really thick breading on them. Really good. And now the fun part, we get to see how this monster is made. Sir, kitchen manager. How you doing? What's your name, boss? Yuma. Yuma, nice to meet you, my friend. This is, I'm Mark, that's Joe. I'm Joe. Yep. Uh, okay. Look at the boxes that these pizzas go in. <laughs> that's crazy versus this box. That's just nuts. So you guys sell a lot of these? Really? Probably for football games and things like that. Uh oh, we're gonna get one out. Make sure they don't fall. Holy crap. Boop. <clears throat> Look, this thing is, sh oh, Hang on. this thing is massive. Like, I can't even get it all in the frame. Is that the dough for the big one? Look at the size of the dough for the big, wow. There's something on the planet that's more round than me. Here it comes. Oh my God, is he gonna throw this thing? No way. <laughs> oh, that thing is massive. This is Ariel, guys. He is the master pizza technician for today. Now, we ordered this thing to be made in four different sections. That must be the chicken Alfredo side. And... <laughs> Let me get out of your way, Joe. Wow, and she gets put to bed. You're awesome, my friend. True artiste. True artiste. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Thank you for letting us go back there. That was really, really cool. Wow. 
That looks really, really good too, doesn't it? That thing's gigantic. You guys don't even understand how just massive this pie is. I'm so excited to bite into it, but it's gonna be so hard to eat. Wow, that is craziness right there. Take a slice. Holy crap. That's just nutty. Right. Just to show you, I can try to get that slice out of there. Whoa. Look at the size over the plate. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my God, they're massive. Is it hot? Look at the size. It has to fold it in half over the plate. <laughs> Let's see the first bite. Oh, he's already taking a bite. <laughs> Looks like you gotta pick it up just to eat it. <laughs> Manhandled. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab my slice. Joe and I got this, uh, I can't even see if it's in there. Yeah, Joe and I got the jalapeno, the jalapeno uh, Hawaiian pineapple. Just, I'm just gonna drag it onto the plate. It's so freaking big. It's, I just want you to see, it, it's way bigger than the plate. It's gonna fold it back, like fold this back, just so I can get it on the plate so I can carry it over to the table. Oh, and by the way, this isn't even our table because uh, the peach is just too big to sit on our table. Mm. Now again, uh, Napoli restaurant is more than just pizza. It's a full service, sit down Italian restaurant. We just came in to get the pizza because that's what we like. So all the information about the restaurant will be linked in the description of the video. You guys can look up the menu and decide for yourself what you want to try. But this pizza is good. It's cooked well. It's got a lot of flavor. So I'm good with it. I would recommend it wholeheartedly. Now, we have to separate the men from the boys. Somehow we gotta pick up this gigantic slice. You just have to kind of fold it in half like that. And even then, it's, it's you gotta get, yeah, you totally gotta lean into it because I've already got it all over my shirt. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really is good. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. I like it, I like it a lot. Mm. You guys heard, talk, heard me talk about undercarriage? There it is. Got that nice crisp. The jalapeno I just been into is hot as a mofo too. Let me do just, holy shit. Mm. Alex is uh, silhouetted. How's your slice get? Um, it, it's no more, just Oh, did crust. you have a piece of the chicken too? Yeah. How'd you like it? It was good. It's it was pretty good, good, huh? Yeah, like there's nothing left, it's just crust. Yeah, I know. Alex actually finished his whole slice other than the back part of the crust. Yeah, Joe says, Joe says this every time we go somewhere that he's gonna no finish problem. his. No problem. I, uh, I'll be the first to tell you, I couldn't, I ate all the toppings off of it because it's a lot of bread and I wanted to have other slices. So if I eat all this bread, I'll just know why I'll have any other, any other piece. And there's still a pepperoni slice I wanna try. I have, um, I have pretty much eaten all the toppings off of the Maui Waui style of pizza that we made, and I went for a piece of the chicken Alfredo pizza. I've never, ever been into like the really weird specialty pizzas. I've always been just a pepperoni and kind of pizza guy. So this will be the first time I've ever even tried something like this. Okay. It's really good. The chicken. And the mushrooms are really, really good. I don't, I don't really taste Alfredo sauce. I think the, I think the cheese has kind of drowned it out. But this is a really, I would eat this again totally. Uh, it reminds me, 
because we went over and cut the pizza up now so we could actually handle it like normal people. Um, it reminds me of a really good flatbread. The mushrooms on this are freaking delicious. They're so good. I like this slice better than the slice of my own. It's good. This four foot square, which is the box that carries the 36 inch pizza is, it's half gone. I mean, there was a half a pizza there. So that was a foot and a half of pizza that's all gone. And um, I'm pretty much full, my plate's over there. I'm waiting, I'm gonna, I just have to, uh, I gotta try one more slice and I don't want a big ass piece of it. So I guess I'll just take this little, this little piece right here, the pepperoni, if I can get it to cut. Because literally I am stuffed. Pizza's never cut all the way. There we go, we got it. That's really all I need. That's too funny. Can I get a... Nah, see these slices are too big. I can't eat the whole slice. I will be full. I'll be, I'll be wasting is what I mean. Alex had a Supreme. And his Supreme slices, they look really good too. Is this a slice here? Oh my God, it is. There's a little piece in there that I can get out of there. And put over here with my little pepperoni. So that way I can say I literally tried every bit of the pizza. All right, so... Mm -hmm. Rosie and Ryan got their version of it of Hawaiian had no ham on it. Um, this is pepperoni and pineapple, which I know a lot of you cringe at the thought of pineapple being on pizza, but let's add ranch to that too. And let's bite into it. Mm. Rosie. Mm. It's very simple. It's simple. It's elegant. <laughs> it's nicely contained. <laughs> I really, really, really liked Alex's um, Supreme Pizza. That was really, really good. But I like all the combination of all those meats together with the cheese and the, yeah. the vegetables. That was really, really tasty. So um, my favorite so far, I'm going to go with Alex's slice. And then second was uh, I really liked that chicken Alfredo pizza. And the, the pizza that Joe and I got, I really, really liked it. It, it had a lot of sweetness to it. That's right, baby. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> Take it like a man. <laughs> a lot of jalapenos, guys. Woo. Woo. Yeah, when you get a bunch of them in your mouth, it's it's pretty hot. That's what she said. A lot of innuendos flying around at this table right now. <laughs> They say this pizza is big enough to feed 15 people. There were six of us total here. I would imagine if you put this all together right here, it's maybe a large pizza left, a uh, regular size large pizza left, or maybe two smalls, I don't know. But um, if you come down here to do this challenge or to uh, order this pizza, I would bring at least four or five people with you. Maybe, maybe even six or seven and just make a pizza party out of it because it's really, really good. Now, again, we divided the pizza into four and had each quarter uh, made into a specialty pizza of our choosing. And then we cut those sections in half so everybody got a slice of that. And after we filmed it and did everything we needed to do with pulling the slices out, then we had them come and cut it up so we could actually eat it normally. But really, really good pizza. Had a really good time in Naples. It's a, it's a fun restaurant. And uh, the pizza was really, really good. The bill has arrived. So guys, that's gonna do it for Napo, you guys. And I gotta say, that's a pretty fun experience, ordering a large 36 inch pizza. Uh, it's pretty cool to see them make it, and uh, when they bring it out, it's just crazy. It's a hundred. It's one hundred and forty-six dollars and seventy-five cents. It's not too bad. For that, yeah, for six people, that's really not bad at all. Who's the six person? Five. One, two, three. Oh, five. Sorry. <laughs> Notice how they let me film it and get all through the whole spiel, and then it's like, who's the sixth person? There are five people here. If you count me twice, you know, one hundred forty-six dollars seventy-five cents for five people. That's not bad. It's not bad. Glass of wine too. Nobody else had wine. With a glass of wine, and they brought out a free piece of. He called it cheesecake, but it looks like chocolate cake to me. So. I loved having pizza with all these people. That's in the dark and silhouetted. 
But that's the end of the video. See you on the next one. <laughs> I'm just screwing around. Um, make sure you guys, if you're in town and you get a chance, come check out Napoli Pizza and Restaurant. Uh, we have a few locations, but the one on Blue Diamond that we're at is actually really, really pretty cool. And I had a blast. Food was good. 100% recommend it. Had a great time with everybody today. Now I'm at the end. So uh, make sure you guys do all the things and I'll see you on the next video.